In weeks after three people died in Kano State for taking expired citric acid, the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAPDAC, has debunked a bogus claim of an insulin tea in circulation touted to cure diabetes. Anita Felix has more. Marketers of this insulin tea say it cures diabetes by removing sugar in the body. It even has a NAVDAC number on the packaging. But the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAVDAC, says it is fake. Former National Secretary of the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria, Benga Olubowale, re echoes it. This is very strange. There's nothing like curing diabetes. What you can do is to manage and then ensure that the, the, the patient or, 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 or the person involved can live a very fulfilled life as much as possible, you know, either through medication or through lifestyle changes. Because when you begin to take all these spurious elements, they lead to what we call organs failure. They begin to kill slowly. Olubowale also recalls the thousands of deaths recorded in Nigeria due to fake drugs and calls on Nigeria's drug regulation agencies to do more to safeguard the health of Nigerians. How can we, in this modern age, 21st century, have people parading or hawking medication, medicines at bus stops, inside buses, on the streets, making all manners of spurious claims, and we have nobody challenging them? There is a lot for NAVDAC to do. Olubowale calls out the corruption in the Nigerian National Health Insurance Scheme and advocates a proper function of the government agency. Health insurance is actually the way to go, but unfortunately, we have not gotten this right. Over 10 years ago, the National Health Insurance Scheme was inaugurated by the regime of Obasanjo. This is how many years down the line? There have been series and series of fraud in National Health Insurance Scheme. Humongous fraud within the National Health Insurance Scheme out of pocket payment of we encourage this patronage of all this quack. The World Health Organization describes fake drugs as the world's most lucrative counterfeit goods. It has a global market worth of $200 billion and hundreds of thousands of people die every year in Nigeria from counterfeit medicines. Aneta Felix, Plus TV Africa. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.